Always fun to see which players have a breakout year. And B.A., it seems like guys always have breakout years. Usually we see it with the younger players, but sometimes it's with guys who've been in the league and are now in new situations. Last year, we saw breakout seasons for Darius Garland, Jordan Poole, and Tyrese Maxey, just to name a few. And the starting group for the Celtics. And for Los Angeles, they've got Kobe Bryant. And it's Gasol in at the five. Shot clock at six. Here's Pierce. Money from the wing. Oh, the first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Here's T. Pass to Fisher. That's tipped. Rondo with the steal. Here's Pierce. Yes, sir. Great play by Rondo to set him up. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now Bryant. Connects from downtown. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And Doris, this Celtics team flipped a switch last year. They really bought into Coach Yoka. But consider, B.A., that halfway through the season, they were exactly 500. But then from mid-January or the third week of January, they were the best defensive team in basketball. It carried them all the way to the juggernaut of Golden State in the NBA Finals. It was a team who knew who it was and how they won. And boy, what a run. And he drops a first. in two from the line that time you can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself it's written all over his body language back to Brian pass to Gasol and here's Brian here's the floater and he sinks the layup Brian's got five now and you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Pass to Odom. Allen against Bryant. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Here's Allen. Covered by Bryant. Pump loose. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Fades back. Here's T. Nice start for him. He's taking his first shot. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Right side, Rondo. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Good on the shot. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. That's the T. Back to Brian. Here's Fisher. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. It's Brian with a drive. And then Brian with the double. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Now here's Allen. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Rondo gets the bucket. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. That's to Odom.
Here's Fisher. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Celtics out in front, up by two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. Bam! You're like a new And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. The Lakers trail. We've got Barnes, and it's Brown in at the shooting guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Up top, Barnes. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Over the last few years, we've seen the rise of the skilled big. Doris, how's that changed the way basketball is played? I think, B.A., certainly it has made for a more wide-open game. The advent of that stretch four, stretch five, it creates better spacing because you've got to deal with their shooting. To me, it's a much better product for the fans. Both free throws good from Barnes. And the Celtics in possession here. Pass to Bradley. Out to the right wing. Here's O'Neal. He's guarded by Barnes. Bradley. They get the rebound. Perkins' shot is good. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Here's T. Pass to Brown. Knocked loose. Here's Mr. Moves. No good with the triple. The Celtics with the lead. To the inside. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. That's the court vision of Avery Bradley. Remarkable how he finds these wide open teammates on a consistent basis. Here's T. Outside, Brown. Back to Barnes. Shot clock at five. Shoots. Brown can't hit. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Pierce. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's T. And he makes it on the layup. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. For Boston, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Outside Robinson. Here's the break. Here's T. Got it. Good job in the low post. He's got six. And a steal like that with the conversion can really start moving things in your direction. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Good. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And Boston calls time here. Last time they met in Boston, they really took a smart approach against this team the last time they faced off. Show some love for the Laker Girls dance team. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Offensive board. Davis finds Allen. Here's Garnett. Clock at six. Late clock, the Celtics got to hurry here. For three, Allen hits the trifecta. Allen's got five now. How about the veteran Garnett letting that play develop in the quick pass? Back to Bryant. Shoots over Davis. Again, the Lakers. Listen, he hits that shot on a 
regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Pass to Garnett. There's 47 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Well, now we're speaking Kevin Garnett's language, one of the great mid-range shooting bigs in NBA history. Here's T. Here's Fisher. Checked by Rondo. Here's Fisher. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Odom gets it to go. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Outside. Rondo. And Gasol with the block. So a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Celtics up by one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Ernie Johnson, can you hit the jet? Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, their success was largely about second-chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All the energy has been spent on the offensive end. Well, that's a shame. We're just going to keep giving up easy buckets and games going to get away from them. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after... A game that's been fairly even so far. Now Los Angeles with it. They trail by one. On the court right now for the Celtics. Bryant finds Gasol. Now here's Bryant for the lead. He buries it from three. Bryant's got 14 points. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Garnett, no good. Los Angeles shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. And it's good for two. Give him eight. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Pass to Pierce. And the call is going to be, yes, on that legal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but, boy, the official all over it. Here's Fisher, checked by Rondo. Rondo with the steal. Here's Garnett. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Back to Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. Odom grabs the miss. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. To the paint. And the layup is good. And it's a six-point Laker lead. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. 
Here's Pierce. He's got six. Will it go? The Lakers with a rebound. Boy, that makes them 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Odom. It's hauled in by Garnett. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Allen against Bryant. Step back and fire. Connects. The jumper yeah, jumps. Time out, time out. Allen's got seven points. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. The Lakers call timeout. Man, you're with the new dance team. into this third quarter now. Here's Mr. Moves. Checked by Rondo. And here's Gasol. Beyond the arc. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. Robinson, he's checked in for Boston. Robinson. For Boston, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to Pierce from deep. And again, Boston with the triple. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Outside Barnes. Here's Mr. Moves. Again, controls the rebound and the putback. And the Lakers lead by three. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Outside Robinson. O'Neal on the wing. Releases. Again, Boston. I'll tell you, sometimes it's easier to hit the target with a bounce pass. That's perfectly done. Here's Mr. Moves. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The Celtics making a switch here. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong, and by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. They get it again. Blocked! We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Lakers ahead, leading by one. Ten coming up as soon as we return from break. The fourth quarter gets underway. Let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
<laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Okay, Brad. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Kobe Bryant, and it's T in at the three. That's the Laker five. Here's Rondo. Softly drops in the floater. Neither team able to build a lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. Then we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Now here's Bryant. Pass to Fisher. Here's Gasol. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Al Gasol. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Well, he's perfect from the line this time. Boston has gone three of four from distance in this game. That's to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Left side, Rondo. Blocked! And they're running! Back to Bryant. Here's Gasol. Kicks it out to Bryant. Goes up again. Yep, right through the net. And the Lakers lead by three. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Lakers. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. The other thing that jumps out about the performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Pass to T. Here's Fisher. Checked by Rondo. Bryant with it. Over Allen. And Bryant gets it to go. Bryant's gotten four this quarter. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Here's Garnett. Now here's Allen. Covered by Bryant. To Pierce. Six to shoot. Goes up from the top of the key. Again, Boston. Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can elevate past. Here's Bryant. And again, it's the Lakers. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Now here's Rondo. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Bryant. Going inside from about 19. And that one is right to it. Point Los Angeles lead. And they're going at it on the defense. Neither team making that. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. And Boston calls time here. They're losing by four. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kobe Bryant. And <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. 
really a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, over the break, I listened to Ime Yudoka's huddle. He told them to be patient, work deep into the clock if you have to, but get good shots. He doesn't want them to look up at the scoreboard. He wants execution on each of his plays. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. Now here's Bryant. Pass to Gasol. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. Oh, really? That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Kyle Gasol. Shooting one. Fifty-two seconds left in the game. The floater. That shot off the mark. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Pass to T. Bryant, left side. Shoots over Rondo. Bryant, no good. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 13-5 run. Here. This one was in the balance right until the final second. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.